Hey guys, it's Heather from Cal of a Plan, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm partnering with Arteza again for this video. So they sent me these canvases and these acrylic paints. And instead of doing something in my planner, I'm actually going to be making some canvas decor for my home office. A lot of you guys know I work from home, and um, I'm going to make some canvases that are gonna hang right above my desk. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna paint them and how I'm gonna use these supplies, and then I will be sure to show them to you hanging in my office as well when we're done. So let's get started, I'm super excited about this. Okay, so Arteza sent me the 28 canvas multi-pack, but I'm pretty sure you can buy all of these individually as well. It comes with seven 12 by 12 canvases, seven 10 by 10 canvases, seven eight by eight canvases, and seven six by six canvases. So I'm gonna show those to you now. So these are the 12 by 12 canvases, and these are canvas panels. So they are the thin ones, which is what I wanted because I want them to hang, and I'm probably gonna put ribbon behind them to hang them, and so I think that'll look really cute. Those are the 12 by 12s. Then we have the 10 by 10s, and the eight by eights, and the six by sixes. So I'm going to have to like, Kind of hang them above my desk just to see which sizes will work best but there are four sizes that come in that kit and then Arteza also sent me let's move these canvases this huge box of acrylic paint which I am so excited about I love painting with acrylics and these are acrylics in tubes so it has the colors. I love that it has the colors written on the paints and they're kind of sorted by matching colors. So like these are all the different yellows and then we have yellows into oranges and then we have oranges into reds and pinks and then the pinks lead us into more pinks and purples, okay? And they come in these little trays, which are really easy to pop in and out. Okay, and then on this side, we have blues. The purples from the um, bottom of that then lead into these purples, which leads us into blues, which leads us into greens, and more greens which then leads us into browns and grays and blacks, okay? So, 60 different colors. I am going to go through and I'm going to pick out the colors that match my home office. So, I'm gonna pull out the black. My home office is basically black, like a light blue and white. So I'm also gonna pull out a gray, maybe the cold gray. And then I can put these back in here. And then this blue is pretty close to the blue of my office, this sky blue, although I might need to add a little bit of white to it to really get the right color. So then I'm gonna pull out this white yeah I think those are going to be the best colors for this before we get into painting today I wanted to be sure to show you guys all of the different colors that come in the Arteza pack so what I've done here is I took all 60 colors and I painted just a little strip on one of these canvases because I really wanted to see what the colors looked like before I chose my colors and plus I want to keep this I'll probably just stick it in my in my desk or um, on my shelf somewhere so that whenever I want to paint something else I can easily just refer to this and be sure to pull out the exact color that I'm wanting and so I painted a strip from each one and then I wrote the number underneath and I wanted you guys to be able to see all the different colors as well so these are kind of reds into pinks and oranges. A29 is a really pretty rose gold. I'm in love with it. And then we go into more oranges with another gold there at the end on A27. 
Then this gold on A13 is like not shimmery, whereas that one is shimmery. So then we go into yellows. A101 is our white. Then we start going into all the different shades of green. And then we fade into another gold and a gray and a shimmery silver. So the shimmery ones are A129, A127, and A128. And they're gorgeous. And I think A130 right there has a little bit of shimmer to it as well. Then we have these really pretty blues. 147, that third blue, also has some really pretty shimmer blues into some purples and pinks and then our browns and grays so lots of really good colors and I love that I can now have this to refer to whenever I want to paint with these paints again I can easily pick out the color that I'm looking for. okay so I have decided to do two 12 by 12s and two 6 by 6s and on my wall I'm gonna hang them where the two 12 by 12s it's gonna be hard for you guys to see on the video but basically I want two 12 by 12s with these two in the middle and I'm gonna hang them by ribbon so and then I have an extra 12 by 12 that I'm gonna use as like a background um, so that when I'm painting I don't get paint on my desk so my I know you can't see my office right now but my office has a like a pale blue paint on the walls and then right above my desk I have this really white um, pegboard where I organize a bunch of my supplies and so these are going to hang above the pegboard and so I, I don't want to paint the background blue because then it'll kind of blend into the wall and I don't want to paint it black because then it'll be hard to paint on top of the black so I'm actually going to leave the backgrounds white and I am going to paint blue flowers on top because I love flowers. So I'm gonna put some blue acrylic paint in here. This is the sky blue, but it's not quite the color that I want. And so I'm gonna add in a bunch of white. And I'm going to mix this up to see if I can get closer to the right shade of blue. Okay, so as I was mixing, I realized that the color of the blue in my office needed a little bit of a hint of green. So I added a little bit of the A159, just a smidge, um, so that I could get this right color blue. So now what I need to do is, whoops, I guess this will be my background canvas. So let's flip this around, make this one the background. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to paint really big florals like in this corner and I want it to be pretty big so I actually could probably use a little bit of a bigger brush for these florals okay so these are pretty easy florals to paint um, you don't have to be like an amazing artist to paint these I am NOT an amazing artist some of you may not know this about me but before I started decorative planning and really getting into that I used to paint canvases like this um, so I would paint like canvases for teachers to hang outside their door and for nurseries so basically I would paint canvases where you make like a cute design and then letter on it which is basically what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be painting these florals and then I'm going to letter on it and then hang them in my office. So I feel kind of like I'm going back to my roots here with this project. Even though if you follow me on Color of a Plan, you may not realize that these are my roots because I don't typically paint on Color of a Plan. So to get these florals, first you just paint a circle, which is pretty easy to do. Okay, and then, the, then I like to paint another circle that overlaps that one. And I don't put it, I don't paint it evenly, I kind of move it down and over, but I want it to overlap, okay?
And then once I kind of see like that's a little too even for me that I may go back and make this circle a little bit higher up because you can always add and make your circle bigger, but you can't make it smaller. But I like for one to be bigger than the other. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of white over here. And I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. And this blue that we just did is still wet, which I want it to still be wet when I do this part. Because here, I am going to basically paint these little um, curves all the way around it to make it look like a flower. But I want the blue paint to get caught up in my brush. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this when the blue paint is still wet, because I want that to get caught up in the brush. Okay, and you just kind of do it all the way to the edge. You can go back and add some more in. And then I'm going to go, I might take this and kind of wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go do the same thing over here. And remember, I want this one, this flower is overlapping that flower. So I'm gonna make sure that my paint stroke right there overlaps so that it looks like it's overlapping. Now, I'm gonna let this dry before I do the next part. So while I was waiting for this to dry, I decided that I actually wanna add more florals because this is a pretty big canvas and I was afraid that just having two and then a bunch of lettering would just kinda of look a little off. And so I'm adding some more circles to make this corner be a little more floral than I had originally planned, um, but I think it's going to look really cute. And I think it's actually going to hang because I already, I already did the other one. And so this one will hang on the left. I should probably put it over here so I can actually see these. You can't see it, but I can, and it'll probably help me a little bit figure out. Like this is kind of a big gap, but I can put a leaf here because we're gonna end up putting leaves on this too. So again, I'm just painting my circles. And here again, I know it, it, it's hard to envision when it's at this stage because you see these gaps, but, um, sorry, I just got paint on my camera. But it will look, it'll make a lot more sense once we start putting the leaves in and we, even when we give these floral shapes more of a floral shape, because right now, you may even have a hard time telling that these are florals, but I promise they will look better before we're done. I promise. So I'm gonna go in and add the white again. I want that blue to be pulled up into the white, which is why I'm not waiting for the blue to dry.
And here I want this one to overlap that big flower, but over here I want this one to overlap. So I'm just gonna make sure that we get that look with the white paint. And again, once I get it in, I just kind of take the paint and swirl it around. I, you want to make sure to get the white along the edges too. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy. These are not realistic flowers, so it does not have to be perfect. But they are flowers that I feel like anybody can paint. That's why I chose these. Because it does not take an artist to paint circles and then make a messy white center. Okay, so now that will go on the right and this will go on the left and then there will be like leaves and greenery. But I had planned to have these two little ones in the middle. But I don't really want I don't know that I really want more florals on these so I may just paint paint strokes to tie in the color and if I end up not oh y'all can't even see that my bad if I end up I just painted paint strokes on them like this if I end up not liking the way that looks I can always redo it or not even use those so let's move those to the side and we're going to wait for these to dry, these florals, and then I will show you guys what to do next with them. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm going to take that same color, the same blue that I use as the background, and I'm going to take a small brush, and I'm going to paint similar curves, but I'm going to be neater about it. And it's not going to be pulling that white up because the white has dried. And I'm painting them in ways. If you see, like right here, there's a line and a line. I'm going to paint this one right in between those two lines and then pull it down. And then here, I'm going to do the same thing go in between those two lines and pull it across. And that makes it look a little bit more like petals when you do it like that okay and then you just go all the way to the edge and you just take it all the way around Okay, and then here, because I want this one to overlap, I will put one right there as well. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this up to the camera so that maybe y'all can see that a little bit better, how I did that. I'm gonna show you guys again on another one of these. So maybe we'll do the small one. This is why you wanna be sure to put a lot of white because if you didn't put a lot of white, then these little petals that we're painting on now might not pop as much because it's literally the same color as the background of the floral. But when we did that white underneath, it kind of added a texture and a contrast. 
So then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I, I personally start in the middle by painting a little like half one and then I'd paint another one so that they're kind of almost interlocking but not quite. And then I just start building out from there. And I just keep going. until I get to the edge. Now, you may still be looking at this and thinking, this doesn't really look like a floral still, but I promise it will when we're done adding the leaves and stuff. Because this, here's an example of the same floral that I painted. This is on a Bible that I painted for someone, but this is the exact same style um, so you see once you add the leaves and stuff, it really does look like florals. So I am going to continue doing this part and then we'll meet back to do the next. Okay, so the next part is we're gonna paint the leaves and normally leaves would be green but I really am trying to stick to the color scheme of my office and so I am going to do the leaves gray which may look weird but I'm gonna do it anyway so I usually like to paint the shape of the leaf first and then fill in the leaf just so I can be sure it looks like a leaf because sometimes I paint it and I'm like oh that does not really look like a leaf okay and then I'm gonna paint a smaller one next to it Okay, and then we really need a leaf here to help fill in that gap some. There's not really a right or wrong place to put a leaf on a flower, but I do try, like look at that. That does not look like a leaf because sometimes my brain forgets that leaves are fatter on the bottom and then they go up into a point. The great thing about acrylic paint though is if you make a mistake like that, it's pretty easy to just fix and paint over and nobody ever has to know unless you're watching this video. Also, some of you might be watching this video and you might be a better painter than me. So please do not judge. I am not a pro painter by any means. This is just something I do for fun. I'm sure there are better flower painting tutorials on YouTube. But this is just a fun basic one. So I paint some leaves and then I want to paint I'm gonna be sure to clean off my brush for this next part. I want to paint like some longer stems, kind of. So, clean off your paintbrush. Paint yourself a long stem and then you can just paint down towards the stem to get the little leaves. You just want to make sure you have enough paint on your brush. Okay. And honestly, I could even make this curve a little bit. 
make it look even cuter. Okay, then I can go up here and paint another one. Can you see what I'm doing? Now, something else I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure there's no excess paint. I'm going to get just a little bit, and I'm going to paint these tiny little pokey outies. I have no idea what you would call these. Okay, and then for those, I'm going to take a really small tip and I'm going to dab it in that blue paint and I'm going to make little like an added flare. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white, just a little bit, I don't need a lot. I'm going to take a thin brush, dab it in that white, and then use that for the final touches on these leaves. Okay, and then I'm going to let that dry, and we will come back and add the words. But that's pretty much it for the florals. So now I'm going to go do that on the same, on the other side. I won't make y'all watch me do that part. And then we'll come back and paint our quotes on these okay, canvases. So I have decided to not do these two in the middle. I just feel like it's going to take away. So I'm just going to take these two, and I'll hang them above my desk side by side with a little gap in between. So this is the left one, this is the right one. And what I need to do next is I need to letter on these canvases. So let me move this one. We'll put this one down. I have found that it is easiest to letter on canvases if you use paint markers um, instead of a paintbrush. So I'm going to be using black to tie it in to my office. Um, and you might want to pencil it in first to make sure that it fits the way you want it to. I typically just go for it. Um, so hopefully I don't regret just going for it. I am going to be lettering a quote from Mother Teresa. It is one of my favorite quotes. It says, 
Um, people are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. And, it, and then it goes on to say, blah, blah, blah. Be kind anyway. Succeed anyway. Be honest and sincere anyway. Create anyway. Be happy anyway. Do good anyway. Give your best anyway. And I'm not going to do the entire quote because I don't think it'll fit, but I'm going to pick... Um, I'm going to start on the what you spend years creating others could destroy overnight create anyway and then I'm going to do the rest of that quote and have half of it on here and half of it on there. I'm really excited because it's like my favorite quote and then it's going to hang above my desk. So I will do this on sped up version so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me letter the entire quote. Okay, I'm finished. So this is the one that will hang on the left side. This is the one that will hang on the right side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get black ribbon and I am going to hot glue the ribbon onto the back of this because it's just a thin canvas. And I will then hang them next to each other with a little bit of a gap on my wall above my desk. Once they are hung, then I will take a picture and I will also show you guys on this video so that you guys can see what it looks like when they are hung above my desk. I'm super excited. I think they turned out super cute and I can't wait to get them hung up on the wall. And before I go on to hang them on the wall, I do want to kind of talk about my thoughts on these acrylic paints and the canvases that I use. The canvases are great quality. Sometimes when you get these thinner canvases, they're almost too thin and the paint like makes the canvases curl up. But that was not the case at all with these. I really enjoyed painting on these. And then the paints, I loved these. I usually just buy cheap acrylic paints from the um, craft store, but I could tell painting with these that these are like top quality. One thing I loved is I didn't have to do multiple coats. If I were to use my cheap gray that I just bought from the craft store, I would have had to do multiple coats of this gray, but this was a good thick gray that I only had to do one coat of. You could definitely tell that these really are like a premium paint acrylic. I loved using these and I, I paint with acrylics pretty often so I can't wait to use the rest of them and I can't wait to show you guys what these look like hung up on the wall. So here's my desk where I do most of my filming and then that pegboard I was talking about and then the two canvases hanging above it. I think it looks really cute. I think it's a great addition to my desk. I love how it turned out, it was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. So if you want to check out these paints or these canvases from Arteza, I'll put the link in the description so that you can check them out. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.